so clear coat is much thinner than the Grontil and um, Cupronaut that we've been using. It's a water, uh, sorry, it's oil based, so it's um, yeah, it's completely different. It absorbs in different, and um, as I know to my own detriment now, it's uh, only ideal for um, wood that's um, really rough. Um, or rough at least, uh, it just slides straight off of smooth timber uh, as you'll see in the article that I showed you which was yeah, a bit of a waste of time but um, let's uh, look at how to apply this properly um, and um, yeah, and, and what you'll expect to get in terms of results and finish So there's a few things that we should talk about while I fast forwarded this, you don't want to waste your time watching it. Um, first thing is wear a mask, you'll, I mean if you don't, you'll, it'll take about five seconds to realise you need one, the stuff really smells. It's oil based um, and it, it's pretty nasty stuff, but if I don't set the nozzle too fine as you can see, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm, it's, it, it's kind of like a bit drippy. Uh, but, you won't avoid that anyway if i'm honest it will run you'll see i put some cardboard down there i put that down mainly just to show you to do it um i'm going to clean the patio off in the next few days anyway with a pressure washer but being oil based and um, a dark stain if you've got something like sandstone something porous that's just going to go straight through it so yeah definitely keep it protected and be well aware that it will run if you're going to use a sprayer i mean the, so it's a bit of a trade-off isn't it you either use a brush and it won't run um, or uh, and it takes ages or you use a sprayer accept a bit of runoff and wastage and you can get through the whole side of a of a big shed in in you know in 15 minutes well I mean yeah 10 tops um, it, it's it's completely up to you but this is how I prefer to do it I don't mind the runoff I catch most of it and um, clean up what, what I don't but the big advantage with it is uh, from uh, irrespective of the speed is it goes right into the to the grain of the timber you get right into the nooks and the crannies so if you are looking for decent protection and longevity it's it's a pretty much a no-brainer for me to use a sprayer um, but yeah with all the warnings I've given you already and you know uh, although although I don't um, consider your your uh, PPE um, otherwise it's yeah it's pretty easy otherwise there's no yeah that's it really so the next thing is it looks pretty dark um, far darker than what you're going to see on my website and you're thinking hang on a minute why why is it coming in so dark well it, I had exactly the same problem when I laid this on the first time myself I thought I'd really made a mistake and it's going to look really dark and that but it really lightens up and, and, and shines nicely so if you head back to my website, you'll be able to see the pictures of how this dries up. I'll put a timeline on there. 